this is a microscopic image of these iron filings. And you can see that they're all kinds of different sizes and shapes. I've got a scale here. This is a, a centimeter, the one to two mark. And each of those spacings between those little marks is a millimeter. And you can see that there's these clumps that are over a millimeter big. But I think those clumps are made up of these much smaller little particles that are maybe... Oh, I'd say less than 100 microns in size. And those particles look like grains. They don't look like needles to me. I thought they would have been needles because that's what it looks like when they line up. Now I want you to see what happens uh, when I apply a field. So there's a magnet under this section, a flat magnet. And you can see these kind of elongated stripes. Those stripes are actually composed of a bunch of smaller iron filings, separate iron filings that are sticking together. And you can see what happens when I move these things. So if I remove this, kind of zoom in here on a larger scale. Uh, so you can see the fridge magnet underneath there. I gently remove this. So these clumps, the external field sort of gives uh, all these particles something to align to. You can see them jumping around as I move this. Uh, and what's happening is each of these little dots, so pick out any small, the smallest speck that you can see, and as I move this, watch that it'll form up into a line with other little specks. Just like beads on a necklace. Now, you can do this with larger magnets. We'll see the same thing. So after all, larger magnets will do this. Uh, so each of these is its own little magnet. This is kind of like on a big scale, what those iron filings are on a small scale. And if we have just a mess of these things uh, lying around on the desk, so I don't want to get these dirty, and I just sort of kind of toss them around, then they're going to line up and form just randomly. They'll randomly kind of form up into a line because north is going to want to be attracted to south, and I think that's what's going on. So we've got all these kind of randomly oriented small little iron filings like this big. Uh, but when I provide some external field, they'll all kind of line up to it, just like compass needles uh, in the Earth's magnetic field. And once they've done that, then they start to feel each other's field. And that forms a common magnetic direction. And we get these kind of needle-like formations that we can still see. In fact... Uh, there's no field now, and you can see these now larger structures that are formed, these longer stringy structures. Uh, now, so to suffice it to say, each of these uh, lines will have lined up with a field line of another magnet, so it can be used to visualize the field lines around a magnetic field. Now, if I were to just sprinkle these onto the paper randomly, they would be still randomly oriented. The Earth's magnetic field is relatively weak, even compared to a pretty weak fridge magnet here.